Hey guys, it's Michael Lemo here, and today is the day. Uh, the official Lemo demo is out. I'm here at Norman's Rare Guitars, and uh, I just want to thank you guys all for following me. And uh, I mean, before I worked here, it was about a year ago, I had like 800 followers on Instagram. Now we're almost at 20,000 together, and uh, I'm just excited to uh, share this with you. Uh, I want to thank a couple people, definitely Norm and the whole crew here for uh, just getting me going again, and uh, my producer Manny, Phil on drums. Uh, Man, there's just so many people to thank, my family, uh, as always, but uh, I wanted to, you know, one of the great things about this record was Norm let me uh, rent a couple cool guitars, uh, so let's take a look. We're going to uh, take a look at some of them I used on a couple tracks, and then uh, we'll go through my rig, uh, finally, because I know a few of you are asking, so let's check it out. Thank you, guys. Go in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So this uh, first guitar I uh, used was an Epiphone... <coughs> Cornet. Um, this is a, a what they call a silver fox with the bat wing headstock. Um, it was funny. My producer man, he said, "I just heard this guy track this guitar," and we he went straight into the amp and you got to hear it. So he showed me, and I went, "Oh man, dude, <laughs> I got it. We got to track that." So I asked Norm and I uh, brought this on. So this is on a song called "Same Old Blues," um, which I kind of based off of a lot of John Lennon's solo career and stuff. But uh, just an amazing guitar, um, you can hear, and it's just going straight through my uh, 1966 Pro Reverb. Um, but yeah, check out the tone of this guitar on there. It's a, probably one of my favorite tones I got. So this is why they hired me. I can actually reach these mandolins here. Uh, this is a, a pretty cool instrument. I've actually never played a mandolin, but I, so I took a risk. Um, this is from 1922. It's a Martin uh, from Pennsylvania, where I'm from. Uh, actually in Nazareth, but this uh, is on a song called La Cienega. Um, I kind of wanted to do like more of an Americana vibe and just a lot of layering. These are great instruments for, you know, building your track. Um, you can hear this kind of midway through the song on the bridge. I kind of do a simple melody on this and uh, it really just colored it in the track and it was great for rhythm. So you'll find this one on La Cienega, which is also on the track list LAC. So check it out. Cool, so uh, on that same song, La Cienega, um, I wanted to get like a really organic kind of Martin sound, but I wanted it to be direct. Um, so I chose this 1947 Martin 0018. Uh, I had a neck set, but this thing tracked great. And uh, I didn't want it to be like too big in the track, but I wanted it to be rhythmic. Um, so this guitar really came through, and uh, this is actually going through the whole song. Um, so yeah, this was a great help, and uh, I thank Norm for helping uh, define some of the sound of this record. Uh, check it out. Trying to find myself another way Gotta give her time, that girl has run away But she's the time for another man's freedom Given to the world, but she don't care for Jesus Oh, oh, la Sienica She's so sweet, but she don't even know Oh, oh la Sienica You can't let him go I tell myself it's gonna be alright But I wonder if she's still fine A baby girl is all that I see But I she see me, oh yeah, singing, oh, oh la Sienega. She is so sweet, she don't even know. Oh, oh la Sienega. Can you meet? You can't let him go. She don't even know. She walks so peaceful 
When she talks, she talks for the people She's everything, everything that I need But drive me wild, just see what I see Michael here, very excited about my Lemo demo today. Uh, thank you guys for waking up early and checking it out. I know we had a few issues uh, on Spotify and stuff. I was getting messages of people all over the world that were like waiting for their, the clock in their time zone and I'm sorry about some of the confusion, but I know you guys have a lot of questions about my gear and uh, I figured what better time than now to finally share with you. So this is my pedal board that I've been using throughout the record and stuff. Um, Snark, we just got the tuner. I just like how it's the clear screen. This EP booster is always on. Um, this is exotic. I've had this forever. I've turned a bunch of friends onto it as I've been turned on to it. And then uh, this is a Honey BOD by Barefoot. This is usually on. This is my first overdrive channel. Um, great, I've had this on here forever. Um, this is new. Um, this is uh, actually a pedal called the Gunshot, which I got actually in Norway. And it was made by an ex-military guy who uh, was in, uh, I guess, in England. And uh, But this is my highest gain stage for some tracks like Angel or TKO and stuff. And then I have a chorus. Uh, I actually picked it up here at Norm's. It's a boss, but I like th this is uh, one of the good ones, one of the older ones. And all my chorus sounds come through here. Um, just a regular micro dream delay. Uh, pretty cool. Just basic analog delay. Uh, this I've had forever. This is the original Context uh, Red Panda reverb pedal. Uh, I think now they're like blue and red, but this is like the original one. I've had the, I've used this so much that Jack is, uh, been changed so many times, but the cathedral right here is the setting I usually use. It's the longest reverb they have on there. Um, and then I have the Mel 9 for like string sounds and stuff. Um, pretty cool pedal. Um, and then, uh, you know, I know a lot of you had a question also about the guitar that I've been playing. So the guitar that's been on the, the recordings, as most of you know, is uh, I call it Godzilla, but it's this jazz master. Um, let's take a look. So um, this is uh, what I call Godzilla, but <laughs> with the lightning and uh, I got the St. Michael uh, emblem. Actually, it's pretty cool because the devil appears and goes away. It's pretty sweet, actually. Um, but uh, uh, this guitar I actually got in 20, 2012. It's a vintage 62. Um, so nothing too crazy. I guess it's about 2012. Um, I switched out the bridge right away for a mastery bridge, and it just stays in tune no matter what. Obviously, I switched out the red knob, the blue. I did a bunch of stuff, but it had a mint green pickguard. Originally, had a tortoise shell pickguard, and then you can see probably my biggest mistake was <laughs> spray painting this, but whatever. You got some Norms shout out, and I got this in Vegas being all weird, and obviously Godzilla. But uh, yeah, this guitar, uh, as you can see too, look at the neck. I bought this brand new. <laughs> it's just like totally messed up. 
But anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much. I know you've been asking about the gear and I'm a little slow at responding on Instagram and stuff, but uh, it's just because, you know, I'm in my head making this record. But uh, thank you guys for listening. I want to thank Norms and everybody uh, here uh, for support. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And uh, my, my parents, uh, Manny for producing the record, Jen for showing me each guitar solo, taking the time to teach them to me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I uh, appreciate it a lot. And uh, I hope you enjoy. And uh, we'll get some merch going. And uh, yeah, we'll be. We'll, let's just do more Lomo demos and we'll be uh, making more records. Take care. Bye. Searching for an easy ride Girls, they know how to dress When they're looking with their x-ray eye What goes on in this world Beautiful girls So tell me, how does it feel when you're all alone? How does it feel when no one's home? You've got
<laughs> it's alright. <laughs> I've definitely done better, but yeah, it's cool. <laughs>